Jest nas moja tała. Stoi tutaj, czy się zda to tutaj idę? Now you're right, let's go! What's up everybody, back here with Liz and Joe. Okay, we're in our last destination of India and it's a place called Goa. We always heard Goa is a place where people like to party and I can see probably why because as you look right out to this beautiful area out here, it's all like beaches and that so. And that's it's, what they call it a wet state so that just means that everyone comes out here to drink. Yeah and I pretty much noticed that too because the alcohol prices here are actually not too bad like quite cheap um, we're actually on a, um, a day tour today uh, through the bus but apparently thing was this tour was meant to be yesterday and our bus missed us and they didn't, forgot to pick us up. didn't pick us up so we had to go on this tour today <laughs> good thing about this tour as well is it only cost us six New Zealand dollars each to get onto this tour on a bus. Only problem is, is yeah, when you go to the locations that you need to go to, you have to pay for tickets to get into that. Which is fair enough. Yeah, but hopefully you enjoy this, this clip. Yeah, I was just going to say also, we um, on the first day we went to Kalingu Beach, which was, well, 600 metres away from us. And we met this huge group of British that come here for six months out of the year and live. They all know each other, they have dinners together, lunches together. It was so nice meeting them all. Yeah, it's like a community. Yeah, yeah. Meters. Okay, so I remembered what I was going to tell you about what the British people told us. So because I've been coming here for years and years, they were telling us how because people get drunk, locals get drunk at the beach and go swimming, not a lot of them know how to swim. And so every day there'd be dead bodies being brought out. So finally, the local government decided that they should get some lifeguards. You know, but they put the advertisement out. 400 people turned up, but only two people knew how to swim. And the reason they found out is because they took them all out on a boat about 20 meters from shore and threw them in the ocean and only two knew how to swim. <laughs> it wasn't too successful.
Okay, everybody. We're in a space in Goa called uh, Thunder World. So I'll just show you around, show you what the kind of activities that are here. And it's quite busy, so we're trying to avoid like, some of the things that you can do and then come back to it. Let's go! Yeah, this guy works here at Thunder World and he's just showing us around everything with all the static things. Yeah, this is like pretty cool. Hey, I want to get some. Okay, this is a thing called the plasma ball. And I'm just going to try stuff out. Look at that. Now, so this is turn on the plasma ball. First here of Kyoto. <laughs> nice.
in here, it's quite cold. Okay, we've just come out of that snow park place and yeah, don't get me wrong, it was pretty cold in there, it was freezing <laughs> and now we come outside and it's tropical again and it's hot. Yeah, uh, I think for, I think if you're Indian and you don't see the snow, it will be quite a cool experience for us. So it was a little bit like, oh yeah, okay. Pretty average what else actually. <laughs> they said there were going to be activities in there, but there was one cool little slide we did. Yeah, as so, you've probably seen on this clip. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it probably for tourists. Nah, because we paid 500 repeat to get in there and that's $10. 10 New Zealand dollars. Uh, yeah, reasonably cheap, but not for that. Nah. But the day's been pretty good anyway. Yeah, but, I mean, but the local people that were in there were absolutely <laughs> loving yeah, it. Yeah, they loved I've it. I've never seen snow before. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. So now we're off to the beach. Yeah. We've got another hour till we actually have to go back to the bus, so we might as well make the most of it. Yeah. Laters.